And witnesses describe a chaotic scene early this morning. News 3's Margot Spann spent the day in Argyle. She joined us now with the very latest, Margot. That's right, Eric and Sarah. Investigators from the Argyle Fire Department, the Sheriff's Office, and the Division of Criminal Investigation now have the task of sifting through the debris. And you see that all is black. That whole thing was fire. Residents of Oak Street in Argyle are trying to wrap their brains around an early morning nightmare that took the lives of three children. Lee Zerfla lives across the street. He says the children's father was the first to escape the home. Got up and finally wa wandered across the road in, in shock, and we could hear the mother screaming, they're trapped, they're trapped. Just scary as heck. Hear those screams for a long time. Argyle's fire chief refused to go on camera, but tells us the call for help came in shortly after three Friday morning. Neighbors say the couple, their children, and their two dogs have lived there for about two years. Lee and his wife witnessed the tragedy unfold from their front yard. He says the flames were contained to the front of the house. The window popped. Yeah, I think that's. It was so intense that the window popped. In the back part there, it didn't look like there was fire back there, and that's where they figured maybe the little girl was sleeping that didn't get hurt, probably saved her life. Again, the cause of the fire remains under investigation. It's also unclear if there were any working smoke detectors in the home. Mm, just an awful start to the weekend. Margo, thank you for that report.